What's going on people? Flick here coming at you from the Flick Edition with a bit of an update. On the 1st of August 2017, I have hit my one year mark since I started my weight loss journey. I'm going to run through quickly just a few things that I have learnt so far on this journey within the last 12 months. One of the things I've learnt is that I can lose the weight. It's something that I've never been able to achieve before because nothing worked and I eventually ended up just giving up on myself because I thought that nothing was ever going to work and I was probably going to die from obesity. But I proved myself wrong with the help of the Austin Hospital and their guidance and for the first time in my life I was able to lose a lot of weight and I still have a long way to go but the fact that I've already made it to 44 kilos within 12 months is brilliant and I am so proud of myself and uh, yeah that's the first thing that I've learned is that I can do this and that I believe in myself. Another thing that I've learned in the past 12 months is that uh, I have a lot of willpower. I never realized how much willpower I actually had until I was given the tools from the Austin Hospital to help me with this weight loss journey and I, that just makes me ecstatic. I, uh, I'm just so incredibly happy and proud and shocked that I, uh, I have as much willpower as I have over the last 12 months but it's opened up a whole new world to me. Other things that I've noticed across this year is that my confidence has grown and I always knew that I was a confident person. I was just afraid and I have a lot of demons. Uh, some I'm very public about and some I'm not, but they do hold me back quite a lot. My mental illnesses hold me back, but one of the things as long with my weight loss journey that I have been attempting my very best to slay are the, my demons in my head that hold me back from enjoying life and uh, living life. Uh, the way I want to and as best as I can so that has been incredible that uh, even though I still have my demons I try my best not to let them control me as much anymore and that's a, I'm a work in progress and I'm okay with that and that's all it is the main thing is is that I don't stop trying and I'm not stopping at all my weight loss journey or my mental health journey I am NOT stopping because I finally realized I've got too much life left to live and too many things that I want to do that are starting to slowly show themselves to me that I can finally do uh, now since uh, losing weight and it's incredible. And finally seeing uh, the potential that I have to do a lot of things in my life. Uh, that I've always wanted to do, that I've always been too afraid to do. Even YouTube, for one, it still terrifies me. I'm not a great YouTube creator by any means, but I'm just me, and I'm honest, and uh, that's all I can be. And But for me, that's enough, and that's all I try to do, is do things that enjoy me, and if I can help anyone along the way on their own journey, or someone can relate to me by what I talk about with my experiences, then that is just amazing. That is just incredible. I never thought I'd be able to inspire or help anybody in my life and for the fact that so far on my journey I have uh, been told by a few people that I have is incredibly humbling to me and I am just so so grateful and so happy that I have been able to help some people and that people have reached out to me for my help uh, for meal plans and support and advice or whatever it is um, even if they're just watching my videos uh, a lot of people love that uh, I make these videos because they, they like my rawness and my honesty and I don't bullshit. <laughs> and um, that's just one of the best gifts ever. Um, by myself still being on my journeys, uh, other people can start their own journeys and uh, start, you know, putting themselves first. Which brings me to another point of something I've learned this year. Learning to put myself first and care about myself in lots of different ways was something that was always really hard for me to do. And it's still quite hard, but I have come a long way and I have learned that it's okay to be proud of myself and it's okay to talk about it and share it with people and be excited about things that I've never been able to achieve before because you're allowed to be and it helps you keep going and motivates you. So that is a huge thing that I've learnt this year as well, is learning to put myself first and care about me and it's one of the best decisions I have ever made in my life because it's helped me save my life and I couldn't be more grateful. Jumping off from the topic of uh, my weight loss journey, which few things that have uh, happened recently in the last year as well is uh, 
Unfortunately, we, uh, my, my family had to sell our family home. I've lived here for about 30 years and we are moving house. So currently my room isn't how it usually looks with posters and my collectibles up on the wall. It's pretty bare because I decided to start packing. So that's a huge process that I'm currently going through and attempting to deal with, which is kind of emotional. I know I'll be okay eventually, but right now I need to go through my motions up and down and, you know, say goodbye to my family home. Uh, I've lived here my whole life and it's everything's happened here for me. So it's, it's a bit tough, but I'll get there and it's just the, the next part of my life and, uh, I'm sure there's many other adventures waiting to happen for when we move. And of course, preparing for the upcoming documentary that I was a part of last year for SBS uh, and getting ready for that to come out uh, at some point this year. I will let everyone know when that is. Uh, bit nervous about it, but very excited about it because again, that was something that I never thought in my life I'd be ever asked to take part in, but also never thought I would actually say yes, because I once again showed my insecurities and opened myself up to be very vulnerable to a world that can be quite harsh and not understanding. But my point was I decided to bare my soul to whoever was interested in watching it because I really felt strongly about bringing awareness to uh, weight loss, weight gain and a whole bunch of other things as well that hopefully will be talked about in the documentary uh, because, you know, I think if more people are aware of things, it will help other people like myself. And that, that whole documentary thing is just a huge step in itself for me. Uh, and it is daunting and it is scary for someone that suffers from anxiety and PTSD and depression. But at the same time, I am really excited about it. And uh, it's at least something that I can say, you know what? I was scared, but I did that. I pushed myself to do that. Just like I'm pushing myself to slay my demons in my head and my life and uh, everything like that. So I couldn't be more proud of uh, agreeing to take part in that. So look out for that when it comes out. Uh, I'll be sure to let everyone know on my Twitter and Instagram, which I'll also leave links for down below in the description. That's gonna be it for today's check-in, guys. Um, I currently am attempting to film on my broken phone. I accidentally uh, dropped my phone and smashed it, so it's very, it, it's just working, but I have to get a replacement soon. So this is going to be the last video for a little bit until I can get that sorted. So I apologize for the video quality or anything like that, but I'm doing my best. Um, and my laptop is also broken. I'm not having a good run at the moment <laughs> with technology, but that's okay. It'll all work out and it'll all be fine. There's always a silver lining. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this update. Thank you to every single person that has been supporting me over the last year of my journey. And thank you to everyone that will continue to support me until I reach my goal weight. And to anyone else out there that is on their own journey, whether it's mental health, physical health, whatever it is, keep strong. I believe in you. You can do it. I really, really know you can do it because I never thought I could do this. And the best feeling in the world was proving myself wrong. Not only all the people that didn't believe in me wrong, but myself, because at the end of the day, I'm in competition with no one. I'm in competition with my reflection. So if you have goals, if you have wishes, if you wanna change something about your life, job, weight, mental health, friends, family, whatever it is, if you want to change something and be happier or live longer or whatever it may be, You've got to take that first step and be afraid and scared and want to give up, but you've got to take that step and push past it and just keep pushing because eventually all those negatives start turning into more positives and less negatives and so on and so forth and you will thank yourself. You really will. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being subscribed. If you're not already subscribed, feel free to subscribe and uh, get updates from me in the future. So thank you once again. I love you all. Until next time, guys, flick out.